tenant in Morpheus is an isolated environment with unique users and workloads. The master tenant is the default tenant in Morpheus, created upon installation. All other tenants outside of the master tenant are subtenants. Only one master tenant can exist. The master tenant creates and controls all subtenants. Tenants are isolated environments with unique users, workloads, and groups. The master tenant can share or assign its resources to subtenants. Subtenants cannot share their resources with other tenants. Subtenants cannot see resources from other subtenants. Subtenants can only access master tenant resources that have been set to public visibility or specifically assigned to the subtenants. The tenants page under Administration Tenants displays a list of all tenants. This page enables users to create, edit, and delete tenants. This list displays the tenant name, role, total instances, total users, and the created date. To create tenants, click the Create Tenant button here. Put in the name, subdomain, base role, and currency. The description is optional. Advanced Options allows for the tracking of the account number, and name, and customer number. To edit a tenant, click the pencil icon to bring up the edit window. This also lets you enable or disable tenants. To delete a tenant, click the trash can icon here. In the master tenant, resources can be configured with private or public visibility. Private visibility means the resource is only available to the assigned tenant or tenants. Public visibility means the resource is available across all tenants. Resources in the master tenant can also be assigned directly to subtenants. When a resource is assigned to a subtenant, it is only available for that subtenant, and its visibility is automatically set to private. Public visibility is not an option for any resource assigned to or created in a subtenant. To set the visibility of a cloud, for example, we'll go to Infrastructure, Clouds. Select the pencil icon next to the cloud, and then change the visibility here. We can also select the specific tenant it is assigned to. By default, any host, virtual machine, bare metal server, network, resource pool, data store, or blueprint added, created, or inventoried by a tenant is assigned to that tenant. If these resources are in the master tenant, they can be assigned to subtenants. Assigning one of these resources will make it unavailable to the master tenant, but it will still be visible and editable by the master tenant. Back in Administration, Tenants, clicking on a tenant will bring up the list of users in that tenant. To create a user for a tenant, simply click Create User. Fill out the name, username, email address, and password, as well as the role the user will inherit and any default Windows or Linux credentials. To edit a user, click the pencil icon. This is also where you would disable or lock these specific user accounts. To delete an account, click the trash can. To impersonate one of these users, Click More, and then Impersonate. Subtenant users can have the same username as the user on the master tenant or any other tenant. Subtenant users will now have to log in using the subdomain prefix. For example, there is a username subuser that belongs to a tenant with a subdomain subaccount. When logging in from the main login URL, I would now need to enter subaccount backslash subuser. This has been an overview of Tenants and Morpheus. If you need more help, feel free to visit our documentation linked below. Thank you.